thank you, and I'm so sorry I couldn't be there with you today. I really wish I were, but it's an honor to be here anyways. I grew up in a divided city, a segregated city. Rio de Janeiro, right here in the 90s, was a city in which you could either live a particularly pleasant life, surrounded by the most beautiful nature you can imagine, and having your every need be catered to, or you could live a very hard life, entrapped in unimaginable poverty, using terrible public transportation to get to and from work, and being increasingly subjected to urban violence in a way that really sapped life from a lot of its flavor. In many ways, I watched different experiences of that city unfold within my own family. When I was little, my father's younger brother was shot and killed just a stone's throw from my grandmother's house, a place always filled with the smell of fresh mangoes and the best sweets in the world. This would never have happened just a few minutes away at my mother's family home in a much wealthier neighborhood. And I slowly realized that the most painful type of inequality in Rio was not so much the unequal distribution of resources, opportunities, and rights, but rather the unequal distribution of the ability to do something about these things. Some families knew everyone, from politicians to media moguls, from industrialists to party leaders. They could get things done, and city policy changed with a couple of phone calls. Other families and communities were not so lucky. They had no power to change the course of their collective lives. Over 20 years of military dictatorship squashed civic life for all but the most privileged. I created NOSAS because I knew that if we change the way power is deployed collectively by citizens and for citizens, some of the other forms of inequality I saw in my own city and country, in my own family, would probably begin to crumble too. And as the years have passed, NASA's mission became even more urgent. As faith in democracy itself began to diminish, anti-democratic leaders began preying on the failures of our institutions. They claimed democracy should be abolished. The little progress our country has already made towards more inclusive political systems seems to be in peril today. These are hard times, times of existential crisis, and times of unbearable human suffering, most of it caused by us humans, who are also destroying the very planet that supports us. It is my firm belief that the winners of today's economic and political systems will not save us. We will need the majority of the world's people. People who have historically not had political power or known how to play political games to flex their muscles to, to get what they need to live happy, fulfilled lives. And if NASA can help them more effectively do that, then we'll be doing our little part in building a livable world for our kids and grandkids and generations to come. When I look at my own daughter, who's only three years old, that is what I hope for. I don't want her to grow up in a country of political winners and losers, rich and poor, life and death. I want her to grow up in a country of collective power and widespread well-being. Thank you for your support today.